हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल टुडे वी डिस्कस दैट इज ए बुलियन फंक्शन फ्रॉम ट्रूथ टेबल ऑफ एनकोडर दैट मींस हाउ हाउ टू क्रिएट बुलियन फंक्शन इफ ट्रूथ टेबल ऑफ एनकोडर इज गिवन ओके सो नाउ आई जस्ट लास्ट लास्ट लेक्चर्स आई क्रिएटेड बुलियन आई क्रिएटेड दैट इज एनकोडर two kind of encoder i created that is a 42 line encoder another is 823 encoder okay last class uh, last lecture i have already given so i think that you understand that uh, uh, encoder how to create encoder design truth table okay uh, i have already discuss today i will discuss how to create boolean function from truth table of 42 line encoder and uh, that is a 823 line encoder okay that two uh, that is uh, um, two kind of encoder i took so i have to find out how to create boolean function if truth table of encoder is given since last class or last lecture already discussed so i will show you that truth table of four to encoder you see very simple way i already designed in last class just repeated repeat of that last class you see uh, <coughs> here uh, that is a four to encoder i design in the last class so truth table of four uh, to encoder i made okay so now you see uh, whenever we consider uh, truth table for encoder this uh, uh, we have to find out what are what are inputs and what are the outputs okay so you see very simple way i have to uh, i just mention and i have already uh, taken you see a0 a0 and a1 a2 a3 consider as inputs okay and d0 d1 this d0 and d1 consider as a, that is a uh, output okay we have already designed this uh, truth table already designed okay how to get uh, this output d0 and d1 which is which are depend on the number of uh, inputs here we will consider only four uh, inputs and uh, we got uh, the two outputs that is a uh, d0 and d1 okay now we see very simple way uh, how to find out uh, boolean function from this table <coughs> you see now we will consider this d0 output and d1 output very simple first of all you see that how it is designed how to create a boolean function boolean function e, uh, will be uh, that is uh, created as per that is a binary form if the um, bits is 1 then how to get that one if the boolean data for uh, that is suppose d0 or d1 having value 1 then we check that how it will create one and who create that one zero point of view we don't consider okay this is the basic concept boolean function here we see suppose boolean function for d0 then how d0 activate and what is the value of d0 is it 1 or 0 if it is 0 we don't consider if it is 1 we consider like d0 here is 1 how it will uh, how this one we get it this one depend on a1 you see this one depend on a1 because this line you see this is 1 this one that is a1 that means this d0 depend on this a1 okay similarly again d0 again another uh, one value is here okay d0 again one value is here again d uh, this one depend on you see that is a a3 here a one value is a a3 the same row you just check it where is a one that means whenever boolean function defined for d0 then 
we will consider this one value and this one value. This one value depend on this a one value. You see same row that is one is here that is one a one is here and another here one also depend on this same row here is one that is a three. Okay. Now we can understand how to uh, define this d zero uh, through that is inputs. One is a one, another is a three. Okay. Similarly, another d one also. Another output is there that is d one. This d one, you see, which uh, where is one value for d one? That is here is uh, one one for d one again one for d one. Here one. One is defined through a two. You see, same row we can define through that is a a two. Okay, you see, same row here is a one. So a two. Another one also here d one. Here another one is there. This one also again defined on a three. Okay, so here already a three already taken for d zero. Again, this one also depend on a three. Okay. So now we can understand how to define this uh, Boolean function of d0 and d1. Very simple way. We have to check it. What is one value? Value one for d0 and d1. Don't consider zero value. Only one value we will consider. Okay. So now we will design <coughs> that is uh, for uh, Boolean function of uh, that is d0 and d1. Okay, now we see that d zero is calculated by here is a one and that is what it is a three a one a three. Similarly, d one calculated by a two and a three. Okay, because here is a uh, here is one a two and here is one a three. Okay, so now we will see uh, that is uh, we have to write this uh, uh, boolean function. With the help of uh, that is the uh, uh, that is the inputs. Okay, so now we can write like a d one. Now boolean function we have to write boolean function okay boolean function. Now you see first output uh, we define. That is either d zero d one doesn't matter. We can suppose d one. That is you see d one. How we find here? You will see d one. D one. Whenever consider d one, you see d one. It is a two a three because one one. That is a two a three. Okay. Now we write that is a d one is a, that is a two a three or other way you can write. A, A three plus A two. Okay, that is a D one. Similarly, another is a D zero. Okay, that is another is a D zero. Here you see D zero. D zero means you see here is D zero. It is one. One means it depend on A one. And here is D uh, one value of D zero is which is depend on A three. That means here A one. Plus a three or a three plus a one, okay. So again we can write a three plus a one, okay. So you can uh, you, you can have some question that is it, what is uh, a zero value? A zero already there, okay. Here a zero input is already there, but we don't consider since both d zero d one. A zero, we don't consider a zero value. Okay, you keep in mind since uh, there is no value for a zero as one here, so we don't consider. Okay, now very clear. So where is one value of d zero or d one based on that which inputs provide that one value of d zero or d one? Then we will consider those inputs for d zero. And that is also considered for Boolean function. So Boolean function defined in this manner, like a two or the d one that is a three plus a two or a two plus a three, d zero is equal to a one plus a three or a three plus a one. In this way, 
we create this boolean function okay now another concept is there that that is uh, whenever we uh, the boolean function already created now we design this is the expression already created boolean function expression now we design that is circuit diagram from this boolean function suppose boolean function is given how to design uh, that is a circuit diagram uh, circuit diagram if boolean function is a given so now you see very simple way that is a design you can tell design design circuit diagram of given boolean function okay of a boolean function that means if a boolean function is given okay very simple way we'll uh, we'll discuss one second if a boolean function is given then how to design circuit diagram uh, of given boolean function that means d1 d0 is given with the help of uh, these two inputs now we'll design this uh, this the uh, circuit diagram of a uh, given boolean function okay now we see whenever we design this uh, uh, circuit diagram then you see how many number of output we can get it here you see very simple way these are the output we have already discussed in that is encoder part and these are the output outputs and these are the inputs okay these are the inputs both these are the inputs so now how many outputs and how many inputs we can define okay we can define output inputs are what are the inputs you see very simple way inputs we can write inputs what are the inputs you see a1 a2 a3 so inputs are a1 a2 a3 okay these are three inputs are there so outputs are we can write outputs what are the outputs only d one and d zero okay d one d zero okay two outputs now we see whenever we uh, design our circuit circuit diagram then what happens uh, that circuit diagram consider how many number of uh, inputs then accordingly we can create the number of uh, outputs so here very simple way three inputs we will consider and two outputs we will consider okay so now you see very simple way first of all you see whenever d1 output we will, we will consider then it depend on a2 say a3 and a2 okay or a2 a3 depend on that and which logic gate we consider here since it is a plus very simple way here since it is a plus then we will consider or gate because addition consider for or gate if you um, that is a and gate that is a dot or a multiplication if you there then we can consider as a and gate since it is a addition operation is there then we will consider or gate okay now very simple way we can define here very simple way i will show you how we design this logic circuit or that is a circuit diagram from this uh, input inputs these inputs and outputs where the boolean function defined in this way okay now very simple way just to draw this is we will consider only or gate okay so or gate we define or design <coughs> very simple way and uh, here is uh, we consider two inputs okay what are the inputs we write that is uh, a3 okay another is a uh, that is a a2 because for d1 uh, that is output okay here is a d1 output d1 for d1 output inputs are which are inputs a2 and a3 very simple a2 and a3 this is a uh, that is a two inputs and output is a d1 
and operation which operation will be considered addition operation so since it is addition operation is there then we consider that is a or get okay we consider this is a or get okay now we see another uh, that is another also output that is d0 okay whenever d0 then what are the inputs a1 and a3 okay a3 already given okay a3 already given only uh, that is a1 will be considered again you see another or get will be considered okay here is d1 another output is d0 okay here you see a3 already there you, here a3 already there then what happens we just collect data from a3 and connect to this that is input input to the this or get okay another data is required because already uh, a3 is there we collect from a data a3 from here again a1 is there okay so we can also create a3 inputs sorry uh, a1 inputs here is a a1 inputs we can write it a1 inputs okay a a1 inputs in this way so here is you see this d0 this output depend on a1 and a3 so a1 is there a3 is there so a1 output a1 input is there we can directly connect and a3 collect from here already a3 already another uh, logic gets or or get we consider here also collect input from a3 and connect to another logic gets or or get okay in this way we have to define or we have to design that is a different different diagram okay that is circuit diagram if that is a boolean function is given so first uh, first uh, that is a uh, we discuss regarding how to create boolean function you see if encoder is given okay very simple suppose uh, that is a design encoder design if you create then it depend on the number of inputs and the number of outputs after the design of encoder then we have to create a truth table we have already already discussed in the last lecture okay again if a truth table is there then what happens so we have to create also that is a uh, boolean function from that truth table okay if boolean uh, the truth table is given suppose this truth truth table is given then it is easy to find that it is easy to find that a boolean function okay truth table is given just i discuss that part and if a boolean function is given then it is easy to create circuit diagram okay as per the boolean function because boolean function contains either if we go through addition or multiplication whatever the fun that is operation we, we got it based on that that boolean function based on that circuit diagram we have to design okay so this is the basic concept of that is a, a boolean function which is a, a, a collected from a truth table and how to design circuit diagram from a boolean function then this is the basic uh, structure a basic uh, concept whenever you design circuit diagram from boolean function where truth table is given okay normally truth table design from that is either go through encoder or any decoder something different okay so based on that we can find out that is truth table from encoder we can find out truth table from truth table we can find out boolean function again boolean function from boolean function we can design that is circuit diagram so this is the overall concept of uh, that is a uh, circuit diagram from truth table okay i think all of you understand this topic that is boolean function from truth table of 4 to 4 uh, to 2 line encoder okay i hope all of you understand this topic thank you very much and uh, you uh, if you understand and enjoy this videos so please subscribe my channel and uh, that is uh, uh, if you want to give some uh, comments to improve this uh, lectures then you can also comments and like it and thank you thank you very much thanks